start fixing it. Hi guys, today is Saturday, January 28th, 2023. We are in our living room and we're right here next to our brooder. Buenos dias, hoy es sábado 28 de enero del 2023 y aquí estamos enseguidita de la casita para las pollas. So these chicks we bought last week in a ranch in Casa Grande, Arizona. And they're about a month old, I would say. So today we're going to show you what our brooder is like, how we keep them in here. And actually they're going to go on a field trip today because we have to clean our house. It smells like a zoo. So hoy les vamos a enseñar cómo hacemos esta casita para las gallinas, para las pollitas. ¿Qué tan? Prendeles la luz, verás. And, um... Hoy también, hoy las vamos a sacar para afuera un rato para que corran y se vayan poniendo a estar afuera. Our lip syncing needs work. Um, estamos casi seguras de que tenemos por lo menos unos tres gallos aquí adentro. Last week when we went, when we were looking for chicks, we were out of town. <laughs> We um we came across a post that said, you know, that they had these Delaware chicks and we've never had Delaware. I started doing a little bit of research and then I was like, oh, that's a really good breed. We should try to have them because they're, you know, pretty um, rare now and we need to start getting more chicks for our flock because our hens are almost a year old so we're trying to get ready little by little so I thought okay let's get four chicks I replied to the post and you know arranged to go pick them up and when we got there they were ready for us so I didn't get to pick any chicks out they were just already boxed up and the owner of the ranch, she didn't know how to sex them either. <laughs> so we were just like, okay, well, let's try our luck. Either way, we are going to need another rooster. Because Kebab is also a couple of years old now. And our plan, our goal is that we want to hatch our own chicks. So that we don't have to keep buying chicks year after year. So we'll see how our plan goes and if we can even do that. But for now, here are our four little chicklies. And we have this tin from when we had the well summer chicks in here. They did really well with a little tin with their feed so that they wouldn't spill it, even though they obviously do. And then this little water too. We put little roosts on here. And... Okay, so this is carpet. These are like carpet tile things. We just switch them out every... I'm sure you guys can imagine how great it smells in here. But this is way a hundred times better for us, for our situation here, than wood chips because the wood chips make a lot of dust in our house we can't keep them outside right now we don't have a structure for that so we do what we can and they're okay they haven't died in our brooder and a, this is just a dog kennel and this is just a tarp you know we just wrap it so that it all kind of stays in they have a heat lamp 
rooms, food, water. And again, they're not going to be in here for that long. So we'll show you how we take our chicks to have field trips in a bit. Okay, so we're going to leave them in here while we go and fix up the run for them to hang out. Así es que apenas voy a soltar las pollas. So, and I'm barely going to leave out, let out our chickens. But that's okay. It's really cold today. It's like 39 degrees out here. Está como 39 grados Fahrenheit. Hoy, ahorita. Son como las 8 y media de la noche. So, está muy helado todavía, pero las pollas salen aunque esté oscuro en la mañana. Okay, so we're in the little run right now. What we're gonna do for the chickies is we're gonna put sprinkle on here some of their feed so they can drink it, I mean, eat it easier. And then we're going to close this door, shut that door. Go ahead and do it now. Oh, so Alex tied it up better with um, a metal wire here so it doesn't keep shutting. So it doesn't keep shutting. Um, but I think I'm going to just change the hinges and make it drop and then just keep the this part here. It'll shut if we just pick it up. But I'm going to put the hinges on the bottom over here. That way it doesn't close. So now the little chickies, chickies can hang out in here. I'm going to take this off. Oh, there are the scissors. We use these to clip their wings when they're ready to go out into the big run. They're not. Trash bag. <laughs> Quasimodo. So finally this week we're going to fix the water. I know it's filthy, it's disgusting. The chickens don't care. They have water and they're not dying. But finally, for my peace of mind, we're changing it out. And I'm really glad about that. So Alex came and screwed these in. So they're secure. So they're secure. So I mean they're wobbly, but they're not gonna fall over. So they're safe now. But I'm gonna take this crate somehow. I'm gonna take the crate so we can bring the chickens in it. So vamos por los pollas, or por las pollas o por los pollos, no sé. A ver qué son. open this door for the chicks, chickens to come lay. So now they'll, 
they'll have to come in through here to use the nesting boxes to see if anybody's in there. I don't think so. They look like they're out of way. Yeah, nobody's in here. We have an egg. Mira, Ariela. El kebab, el gallo, ya está más viejo, se le nota porque tiene una, ¿qué es? Spur, una espúa. Bien grande, como de una pulgada y media. No, como una pulgada. So, uh, our rooster, kebab, <laughs> he's about a year, two years old already. His spur is pretty big already. It's like an inch big, mira. So if we do have another rooster, it'll be okay. Uh, if we have a couple of roosters, um, maybe we'll just let them select themselves out like, <coughs> like Kebab did with Barbaro. Voltealo. <coughs> ¿Irás a poder así? ¿Sí? ¿Sí? No sé. ¿Sí? Okay. Apágales la luz. A ver, cuando pongas uno aquí, lo voy a tapar para que no se salga. Good job. This pro. <laughs> uh oh. Out of me. Okay. ¿Cómo les vas a poner a esos? Snowball. Snowball y cotton. Snowball. ¿Es el snowball? Sí. Está dirty el snowball. ¿O es el cotton? A ver, por ahí mira. Así. We're learning. Y esa es cotton. Algodón? Snowball, este. Oh, es snowball. Sí. Oh. <ríe> ah, qué escandalosa o oh, escandaloso. <ríe> ¿Quieres que quite el roost? So if you don't have a small child to fit inside a crate kennel thing, this might be difficult. <laughs> Warning, this might for kids who do not fit in a kennel. <laughs> Oops. Okay. I'll see you at this comida también.
a little bit. Espérate, hay una polla ahí adentro, es la Quasimodo, creo. Sí. Y ahorita a ver si puso huevo esta. Quasimodo. Está bien, no se salen. Ahí dejan las the crates así nomás. Pero te echan las comida ahí al lado. Y las salty chips aquí de mi totera. Mi totera. Las patitas. Déjala sola, se va a salir. Oh, ok, mi vina. <ríe> Volteala, no. Ahí está. You're free. The birds. A ver si alcanzan el agua, ahorita les vamos a echar más. Por oh, chiquis, qué frío. <laughs> It's cold. But they're just pecking around. Ahí anda nomás buscando comida. Limpiándose las patas puercas. Ensuciándolos otra vez. Se nos olvidó ver si eran gallos o, o pollas. <laughs> Oops. Well, we're not experts. No somos expertos. Obviamente. <laughs> A ver, tú sí. Yo sí. We should predict me. A ver. Biggest one? Uh -huh. Gallo. O los otros? Hens. No, yo creo que los dos más grandes son gallos, los dos. Y las Half chiquitas, nine? maybe, son pollas. Hopefully, gallo. si todas son gallos, pues calditos. <risa> Mira la chiquita. La chiquita le cambiaste el nombre. <risa> Se llama chiquita. Mira, mira, mira. Uy, ¿viste eso? Parkour. <risa> Parkour. ¿Dónde está? Well, since we're out here, you guys can see the chicken wire down here. Chickens have been making this crater <laughs> because they use this this area to to dust bathe, I guess. So you can see the chicken wire underneath the run. Aquí es donde se ponen, se tiran las gallinas a a limpiarse las plumas. Y están haciendo este hoyo. Después le vamos a preguntar a Mario si nos haría el favor de, de llenar el hoyo ahí. Mira el kebab. Look at his spurs. A ver. Yup, ouch. You gotta be careful. Porque ouch. Ouch is correct. Look at that. He used to be very tame when we got him. He was um, easy to handle. 
our friend gave him to us. He was a nice gallito. Cuando nos lo regalaron, mira esos. Dang! These things are humongo. Era muy buen gallo, era amigable. <laughs> y después que llegó Bárbaro, que no sabemos qué pasó. El caso es que se quedó. Se quedó Kababi. Bárbaro. Era una dog treat. A ver, ve si puso huevo la polla. ¿Está una? ¿Quién? Otra de las güeras. Dust bath. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you for coming by. Thank you Kebab. <laughs> Thank you for watching our video. We hope you learned something and learned that you can have chicks in your home if you don't mind the smell too much and doing a little bit of extra work. But in the end it's worth it. Um, you'll have a really pretty flock soon and your own eggs. So if you like our content, subscribe to our channel, like it and share it with your family and friends. Thank you. Gracias por estar aquí. Esperamos que les hayamos inspirado para que ustedes también tengan pollitas, pollitos en su casa y que algún día o puedan tener huevos de las gallinas. Uh, si les gustó este canal, por favor suscríbanse y compartan con sus amigos. Gracias.